All right, it is April 7th, 2021, <clears throat> which is my birthday, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to order a couple of these uh, V2 fun boards to test just to make sure everything is right before I start uh, letting everybody use them. Uh, let's see, Any? what did I change? The main thing that, uh, well, they're just some minor changes. So I did change these resistors to try to equal these LEDs up a little bit, the brightness. The blues are really dim compared to the greens. Uh, so I lowered the resistance here and I upped the resistance here to try to match those a little bit better. I removed a resistor down here on the enable for this power conversion. Didn't need it. Uh, the big One of the big things I did was the chip select for the SD card was on uh, pen 27 just for convenience because they were all the pens were lined up right here and just came out and around but I went ahead and moved it over to pen 15 I think is that one uh, because pen 15 is the default in MicroPython for slot 3 for SD cards so it just put everything together the way that it should be in the software and then I used pen 27 is for the it, it connects to the reset so that you can do a full reset through the software and then I think uh, oh I did add this resistor down here which is a thousand ohm resistor it's in the um, signal line coming to these uh, micro pixels because every now and then you get a little jitter so I put that resistor in there to try to smooth out a little bit of the jitter that you get in there sometimes um, other than that, everything is working great. Uh, I've written a, a suite of software to run all this stuff. So there's soft, I've got going to have software to run the SD card, the buzzer, the, uh, the micropixels, this LED, the Wi-Fi. Um, you know, all all the stuff that you need to make this board uh, functional and easily usable. So all the peripherals that are on there. All right, that's about it. Um, the software that I'm developing is on GitLab up there, my link there. So check it out later.